Man, oh man, I don't understand what's going on with Wale and the ladies nowadays, but before I get into this epic slander, writer Cola Booth posted on Twitter, I wanted to remind everybody about what happened in February of 2015. There was a groupie who claimed to have a sex tape with Wale, and she went on to say that he was fucking her 16-year-old cousin. Don't remember those two stories? Click the link below, visit my blog, I posted links to both of those stories where the videos are there if you don't want to read it. And <laughs> it's up on my blog at the meatmagazine.blogspot.com website. You can just type in Wale or click the link below and the links are right there to both stories, conveniently there for you. Anyways, <laughs> here's yet another case of a woman being scorned after sleeping with rapper Wale. Cola Booth has been romantically linked to everyone from boxer and accused rapist Mike Tyson to accuse terrorist Osama Bin Laden to now rapper Wale, just to name a few. And when I say romantically linked, I mean she admitted to fucking this star-studded cast at some point. You know, everybody's getting some. But anyway, back in 2010 is where I was able to trace the beef between Wale and Cola Booth. At least that's as far back as I can find you know any information about what it had what had transpired or whatever so back in 2010 Wale released a music video for a song called pretty girls the song featured rapper Gucci man and Weenzy of backyard band now <laughs> in the video it featured for the most part lighter skinned mixed whatever women in the video so if I'm not mistaken, there wasn't any like dark or brown skinned women from what I remember, you know, seeing in the video. So when Cola Booth saw the video, Pretty Girls, here's what she said. And if you want to see the video, it's posted on my blog. Click the link below, you know, visit and it's posted right there for you. But here's what Cola said when she saw it. She said, and I quote, I don't like at Wale because he's another color struck black man whose videos are pretty much white supremacist images. The fact that at Wale is Nigerian makes it all the worse because he's setting the wrong example globally for our race. At Wale and all the rest of these self-hating inward stock bastards don't celebrate black beauty because they can't see it. End quote. Wow. So that was a few years ago. So in 2011, Wale and J. Cole released a song titled Bad Girls Club. Now I posted the video the music video for Bad Girls Club by Wale and J. Cole as well as the lyrics and I'm not going to read to you every verse but I highlighted certain parts in his verses in the song so in Wale's first verse he said something about despite living with more attention than light skinned women okay you think a ninja shallow and then he went on to say in the same verse ninja I just glow bright as any debarge. And of course, he's making reference to their light skin. <laughs> then, in Wale's other verse, he said, quote, <laughs> And most hoes be so-so when they hold no makeup. Yeah, I got the flow that they know is the truth. It's getting ugly in here. Guess I coded the booth. Now, that may sound odd or whatever, but what I got from it being a rapper <laughs> and a writer was that when Wale said that what he may have meant was now of course he's talking about being in the booth and things getting ugly without makeup but he said coded the booth and of course you know he has beef with a woman named Cola Booth you know in other words they sound kind of alike so it's like playing with like the pronunciation of words or whatever Anyways, this shit happened years ago where these songs came out. Now, I don't know if this woman, Cola Booth, just heard this shit for herself, this song with J. Cole, the Bad Girls Club thing. But what I do know is this. <laughs> she went the fuck off on Twitter. And I'm sorry it took me so long to tell all of that information to you. But it was best that I told the story from the beginning or at least as far back as I can find information on their war of words so oh geez Louise you know all I'm gonna say is this this is the worst slander 
tea spilling that I've ever seen from any celebrity, period. And if you're not sitting down, don't listen to this shit. Okay, without further ado, here's what Cola Booth said about Wale on Twitter. And I quote, <laughs> That ninja at Wale rapped about me on a cut, left out the fact that we fucked and he ain't shit in bed. And she said this to Azalea Banks, right? So she starts off with that. So that's not too bad, right? Here we go. This ninja at Wale got a little crackling critter dick. It's crispy and ashe with some raisinette balls and more hair than balls. Ninja, how you from Nija at Wale and your dick crispy, crackling, short, runt, bunt with raisinette balls and more hair than balls, funky self. Now, I think this one was talking to somebody else, but she said, Yo mother who sucks dicks to get her generator repowered is the free wild spawn and she smells like stockfish. I think she might have been talking to some other guy. Anyway, she went on to say, Ninja please, Wale dick resembles a baby Ruth candy bar with hair on it and raisinets hanging. He ain't got no Niger dick. How we start fucking in DC and he said, quote, You'll never need toilet paper again. I didn't know he meant toss. Of course, it's referring to tossing the salad or eating her ass. Anyway, she goes on to say, y'all think I'm joking? Shit. I felt so cheated. I wanted to be fucked after his preening. Now, here's one of my favorite messages. When she said, and at Wale ate this pussy, licked my toes and licked my asshole, but his dick won't good. Blish. I could have had his beer bottle. Damn, when I read that shit, I fell the fuck out. She wanted to fuck herself with his beer bottle because his dick game was so weak. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Anyway, she goes on to say, the reason the fucking Wale is up is he made a rap song and called me ugly because I reveal what a color struck no fuck he is. Wale stink too. That is a funky motherfucker. He kept trying to kiss while we was fucking. I couldn't. Wale, one of these trifling rap ballers that pay white, exotic, biracial, and other women to pretend he lay in pipe. <sighs> Yawn. I actually fucked this ninja at Wale trying to be a DC loyalty. We both African immigrants raised in the District of Columbia. Every woman knows that Nigerian men tears up some pussy, except for this stockfish smelling mudlark at Wale. And I detailed your fucking dick on Twitter, motherfucker, at Wale. Go rap about that. You gonna learn to leave me the fuck alone or I talk. I got so fed up, I turned over and said, lick this ass. He did that better. Long, hard strokes. But I wanted some dick. So yeah, here it is on Google. And she posted a link to information about them and their previous beefs or whatever at Wale ain't fucking nothing but his palm and he gotta pay for this pussy oh please legend my other boyfriends Mike Tyson Jamon Hansel Gerard Butler Lil Ding those are legends end quote so here's the deal how dare she cry about people being color struck and then she goes and calls people mud lark and talks about them having a crackling baby roof with nuts in it ass dick that's stinking and oh man just all the shit that she's saying man that shit sounds racist as fuck but anyways hey that's up to her that's the type of person that she wants to be you know I felt bad for Wale I mean this shit was some epic slander who takes time out of their day Suppose that many did remember this isn't all of the messages this isn't everything that she said I didn't have time to go through it all you can go visit her Twitter account and see that shit I was up there for oh man a long ass time it had to be over an hour because the conversation rather her slander went down if I'm not mistaken on August 4th of 2015 but I didn't know about it until August 5th of 2015 and I'm there I'm going through her messages trying to find out everything that she said or at least you know the worst parts of it and I was like oh shit this chick has posted hundreds or at least it appears to be hundreds of messages 
between August 4th, 2015 and August 5th, 2015. So I had to like go through this shit. It was like like just a pile of messages that I just had to like sort through and figure out what was said about Wale because there were other conversations or whatever going on. It was really tedious, but anyways, but I but I love my job. I'm not complaining. <laughs> anyways, Cola Booth is off the fucking chain. I also saw another message, which I'm going to include that in a whole nother story, whole nother article, whole nother video where she talked about how if she didn't have kids. She would have committed suicide. So, yeah. Anyway, this woman's not right in her head and I'm not going to exploit her mental illness like reality TV would do. I just wanted to point out what she said, inform everybody and let people know that they need to say a prayer and an RIP to Wale because she killed him with these comments. I mean, damn, you know, usually I don't laugh at women talking shit about a man's penis and whatnot because it's so easy and it's such the go to thing to say. And it's like, you pea brain bitch. I mean, the first thing you think to say is something about his dick. I mean, grow the fuck up. You're an adult, you know, do better. But at the end of the day, some of that shit was funny. I can't even front. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more.